for me, the natural world is like the center of things. It's the thing that I keep coming back to to get grounded. I hike and I've done that all my life. And then all of a sudden, last year, I was having trouble walking more than a few hundred meters. I went to see my GP and he told me in no uncertain terms that unless there was some surgical intervention, there was a good chance that I would end up an amputee. And that's when I knew I needed help. This is an area that I'm very familiar with. If we can reopen the blockage with a stent, then we prefer that over surgery. However, if we can't, he would need an open bypass. It was an unusually long blockage of the artery and, and excavating through that with the traditional hand-guided means is pretty challenging. Conventional techniques, there's limitations and the robotic catheter can overcome some of those limitations in certain settings. The robotic catheter gives us great precision and the pushability and the stable platform to deliver stents. I felt that my ability to successfully open the blockage using the robot was higher than if I did with the conventional technique. I mean, they come in through one leg and up through across your groin and down the other one. It's a convoluted pathway and the incredible little steering mechanism that this Hansen instrument employs to assist the surgeon as they got to navigate this little tiny canal. It's very clever. I was in hospital 23 and a half hours and I was back at work within a few days. And now I'm back hiking. I don't know what shape I'd be in if it wasn't for my GP and Dr. Ham and, and the assistance of the Magellan robotic system. You know, I'm, I'm grateful just about every minute of every day.